Hi and good morning, it's Gene from Mavstar Observatory. Uh, just want to make some observations and point out a few uh, key factors uh, that supports, you know, uh, what's going on. And, you know, I do believe that we are heading into a glacial period on the back of this magnetic pole reversal. And uh, some of the next um, images that you're going to see, I think, supports that. So, first of all, big thanks to the few that supported us. Um, you know, I, I do get days like yesterday where, you know, the total revenue for the observatory is less than five pound. And, uh, you know, you have to find a way to motivate yourself to carry on going because, you know, you just hope for better days than that. So, in this image that we're looking at on the left is a temperature um, array and where the darkest blue and purple regions are on the disk you can see that those are the lowest temperatures on the planet on the right hand side we have a magnetic intensity and the deeper the red the more stronger that intensity is you can note over the northern hemisphere on the magnetic intensity uh, map that you know canada is less densely um, magnetized than uh, russia is so with that, you know, we, we will um, just uh, pose a theory of what is taking place. In the next video image, on the top left hand corner, you can see a little white dot traveling over the Northern Hemisphere. You can also note that the region over Canada is getting less and less bright as we see over in Russia. Uh, it getting more deeper and deeper. Uh, what this is an indication is is that we've known for a long time is that Canada is losing its intensity and over a short period of time when you consider these things and Russia is increasing its intensity. We can also see on the left hand uh, disc at the top um, the, mag uh, the magnetic safe pole leaving the Arctic Peninsula and then on the center bottom disc we can see all this happening at the same time but if you just focus on what's going on over Canada and the rate at which the white dot is migrating towards Russia it gives you an idea over time how things are really happening in geological uh, time. In this map that we're looking at it shows the magnetic intensities and you can see that the inner ring over Canada is very faint and you know when you look at the intensity it's about 5,000 nanoteslas less than what is over Russia. Um, what is taking place right now as we're watching this is the intensity is still decreasing over Canada and is strengthening over Russia and our magnetic pole what our compass points to, the dipole, is in the centre of these two intensities but is migrating as we know over towards Russia. We know why now. It's because Canada's losing its field intensity whilst Russia's increasing its intensity and therefore it is winning the fight for the pole. So we know it is travelling towards Russia and at some point will be in central Russia. Um, now we know as a result of grand solar minimum and a magnetic reversal, we have a lot of inbound cosmic radiation which sets up cloud, cloud seeding, which alters um, the natural behavior of jet streams. And we've seen recently what is the result of that, which we're talking about now, is the floods in Europe recently, Turkey landslides, India landslides, Canada, um, you know, uh, bushfires uh, coming early in the season, same with uh, Southern California, you know, same thing, fires happening a lot earlier than the season predicted. And, you know, as a result of this, you know, we're seeing, you know, a lot of devastation caused through the change in climate. But um, it really does uh, come home to, you know, myself when I see Russia's intensity where the focal point is of the intensity we know that the magnetic pole is heading towards Russia or central Russia and then when we look at the predictions for floods it shouldn't come as a surprise to know that at some point Russia um, will uh, you know receive a lot of precipitation in the form of snow and that's why it won't be in the flood risk uh, areas like the rest of the world and as you can see for yourselves Russia is in blue and that means little change or decreasing 
risks of floods, but it will have increasing snowfall, which will, you know, put that peninsula in Arctic mode. You know, at the beginning of the video, I showed you the temperature variations over the Northern Hemisphere and the pattern that they produced and compared that with the magnetic uh, map and we saw almost an exact overlay. If we overlaid them two over each other, we would have the exact same pattern. Uh, so, you know, again, it is no coincidence that where the magnetic North Pole is, is where the Arctic circles are going to form. And if the magnetic North Pole is migrating, it is likely to take those Arctic temperatures with it. When we look at this map, we can see where the magnetic North Pole is heading. And that just is by no coincidence a region that is not going to suffer from floods. It's going to suffer from Arctic temperature. And that's what we're going to see more of over the coming years. Um, guys, it's Sunday. Oh, I don't want to keep you uh, away from your families, so I'll say what I usually do. I'll catch up with you in a week sometime. We'll do an Earth health at a glance or something like that. Uh, but uh, yeah, enjoy your time. And um, there's a link down there if you want to help support our observatory. Remember, without public support, you know, the whole thing fails. It's as simple as that. So, as always, look after your loved ones, and as always, bye for now.